a few, some, few more information about uh, radical so that other people can understand. Uh, look, uh, actually, uh, what is the Commons? For example, if you are a researcher and if you are a scholar, you create some uh, research work and you publish it. But that is a restriction, like other, other people can't share it. Other people can't uh, distribute uh, to other person because that is a uh, legally copyrighted. So, this is the one of the part of uh, creative work. Uh, the other part, that is a creative common concept. So, here the people will be uh, like intentionally, they will be deliberately giving their access to people to share it with anyone. So that is the main intention. So like the license is like open. So you can share it with anyone. So we are not restricting the knowledge. So knowledge knowledge should be shared with everyone. So that is the main purpose of uh, the creative commons. In, in again, when you talk about sharing the knowledge, again you may have questions like suppose if I am sharing my resource, my my work, what happens if someone make use of it? Someone make commercial or someone do some derivatives and put their name. So for that to address the difficulties. There are a lot of different types of licenses are there. The first one is Creative Commons Attribution. So here, the thing is that you can share your work, but you need to do attribution. Attribution means you need to recognize the author, who is the author, who is the creator. So that is the main uh, intention of that, but that type of license. The other one is Attribution Share Alike. It means creative attribution as well as share alike. Share alike, share alike means, for example, I am creating a work, I am giving it into Creative Commons CC by SA, which means I am giving the license of CC by SA. Suppose you take the, my work and you make some derivatives or you make do some improvements and if you are going to release, you need to follow the same licensing. So you can't again make it, it as a commercial or again uh, like a copyrighted one. So share like is you need to uh, take the same license. And the other one is attribution as well as no derivative. Don't go derivative means you can't do more derivation. So these are some type of uh, licenses. Okay, so these are the mainly for uh, creative works like a uh, book or publication or any uh, website content. So, when talking about the, uh, like uh, programming codes, there, there are different types of other licenses other, like Apache, GNU. Uh, these are just uh, giving the information. I think this is not related to this topic. We can go to the next one. Okay, now coming into the uh, existing tools uh, in Tamil computing, uh, I take the reference from Tolkami. Tolkami is uh, the, the earliest literature among Tamil. Uh, in Tolkavi, they are telling uh, three types of uh, rules. Uh, first one is Edith Nilaram, Tolle Nilaram, Kodla Nilaram. Uh, similarly, we can uh, classify the existing computing tools in three types. Uh, first one is character based, other one is word based, other one is semantics. Uh, so, I think in character based, we have, uh, we have good knowledge and we have discussed a lot of things in character based. Character based means uh, there are a lot of difficulties. Uh, as you know, computer is a Mad. Computer is mad, it do not have any knowledge until it is speed training. So, computer knows only zeros and ones, as you know. So, we need to train it. So, first difficult is how you get a Tamil letter into the computer. In 1984 or around 90s, 90, so there are a lot of studies to get a Tamil letter into uh, computer. So, people are working on it and they, they did a lot of uh, activities and then finally they, they got Tamil letter into DOS OS. So, that is the, that's the first struggle. So once we overcome the character-wise struggle, then we will move on to word-wise. Word words, uh, in words, we can have lot of tools like grammar checker, like sunny checker, and spell checker, and a lot of uh, variety of tools are there. And if you overcome the word based, word based then we will move to semantics, like translation, chatbot. Uh, if you notice, uh, in, in Indian vernacular languages, we don't have a, a quality translation tools. We, we may have English to French, English to German, those those are available, but when coming into Indian languages, uh, we don't have a perfect translation work because we don't we don't come we, we didn't trust these things like character works and then only we need to research on uh, schematics. Then only we will able to create a, uh, a tools like IELTS. IELTS means interactive voice response stuff. I think these are the tools available in some Western languages. So these are the tools we are looking for and we will be taking. Okay, now we'll coming to the first part, uh, character. Uh, first of all, we need to understand uh, what is character, how it uh, embedded into the computer. Uh, as we already discussed, the you are uh, Unicode having a, a, a every character having a particular memory. So before that, before Unicode, there was a non-Unicode font set there, a lot of font set there. Uh, for example, Abomni, Aboya, there are a lot of variations are there. The, in, the initially, the people from publishing industry, they don't have any tools or any technology to uh, have a town font. So they, they usually created their own and they coined some, uh, some numbers, like for example, for A, they tell computer is number 1 equal to A. 
number 2 equal to r naught like r today so similarly they everyone have their different variation of fonts so these are the problems so the problem comes when they transfer the data to between them for example i'm a publisher i am telling number 1 is r and uh, that's one more publisher they are considering uh, lemon equal to r so in that case if my document is moved to uh, those machines will not work right because the mapping between numeric and uh, the font is different so in that case only universally we are adopted unicode unicode concept in unicode concept there are a lot of uh, blocks are there every language is having given some particular blocks that for in for in tamil uh, we have a 2400 range we have some particular 255 blocks are there every character has mapped with some particular unit number we will see it later okay uh, can you put on this Okay. Uh, here you can find it. Uh, for in Unicode, I am not making it as making as an example between Unicode and Bombay font. Uh, in Unicode, uh, 2949 is equal to R. In decimal format, I have mentioned it. In the other side, you you have already seen in bin binary format, uh, but this is decimal format. Okay. In similarly, in Bombay, 109 is equal to R. Uh, similarly, in Unicode for R one, uh, we have 2950 is equal to decimal value. Uh, but when this vowel stands alone, when it will start uh, combined with any consonant, then the value is two nine five zero. But if it will combine with any uh, consonant like ta, a, b, q, in that case, it changes into three thousand six. So for vowels, we have two variations of Unicode uh, blocks. Uh, but in Bombay, we don't have those uh, variations. We have a different set of uh, uh, symbols for tonakaran. Subletters. We have a different set of symbols. Uh, let, let, we can see here. Uh, in ka, we have a two nine six five. Uh, if you want to mention ka na, then you need to mention ka this one two nine six five, and then you need to take a a na symbol, a na numeric value. So, so this is how uh, Unicode is designed. So the the browser or any uh, font rendering engine, it consider and it will represent this particular letter. So this is how uh, Unicode works. Go back. Back. Okay. Uh, so I think it was you were some some something you were clear about the Unicode or non-Unicode block. How it is possible? So now the question is come. Since we are mapping number one equal to R, number two equal to R, so there is some clarity between numeric and digits. So why can't we design a variation, variations of uh, font design in Unicode? Yes, it is possible. Uh, in Tamil, we have almost two thousand to two hundred fonts are available. Uh, in short period of time, I'm just giving you some bit glance about the collection of fonts. Can I go to the website? So this is the website. Uh, you can see. Uh, so this, here you can find the uh, 2,200 font variations in Unicode. For example, these are all. Uh, it's all open source, and you can find it in the website. So these are all in Unicode, but in different variations. This is a sample text. Can we go to the next, next page? So the font get rendered, font get rendered, and it will change into the uh, different font variations. So these are the things. So the things like uh, we have uh, enormous uh, font variations, like two thousand two hundred fonts are there for Tamil. Uh, similarly, we can create one more font variation for every uh, color, every uh, different variation, like Bombay, sorry, for the Bombay color, which are kind of water. Those things we can also create. It. Next is okay. Okay. So here, for one more comparison, uh, as I said, for Unicode we have a numeric mapping. For Bombay we have a different type of mapping. Like for M C equal to seventy uh, seven. Sorry, one zero nine. Uh, if you want to type Amma, this is for A, this is for Ma, and this uh, square bracket is for a dot. Full stop. So this is how uh, non-Unicode blocks works. These are the some URLs that if you noted down, you can later you can see how it uh, looks actually. Yes. Okay. For uh, the one more one more challenge is uh, encoding. Uh, as you said earlier, as I said earlier, uh, there are two types of uh, coding: uh, Unicode and non-Unicode. So suppose you have a document. Earlier documents are most of the things are not in non-Unicode format. So how? I can transfer that Unicode, non-Unicode content to Unicode. That is the greatest challenge in 
is that behind our class. So there are a list of non-encoded characters like it, from Sri Tamil, Sepparthi, Anjal. There are a lot of converting tools are there. So this is my tool uh, called Open. So it converts almost uh, 40 non-encoded characters into Tamil as well as vice versa. Suppose if you have a like, document in CAM or CAM or the soft view, you can produce this tool and you can convert it to Unicode. Similarly, you can also convert it into Unicode to vice versa. Okay, so this is one of the font conversion tool. So the one thing you need to understand is that uh, this is not directly related with the font design. This is purely related with the encoding. Okay. So the things that you can keep in mind that if you find any documents which are not readable, for example, if it is not in Unicode, you can use these tools to convert it to Unicode. Next. Okay. Other than that, font, font nature, again there is one more aspect of uh, art. Uh, there are ASCII art is there. For English, you can find ASCII art without character, without character representation. Using the symbols, you can draw uh, in, 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 in English. So this is the one of the example in English and that is the example for Tamil. So just an uh, introduction. <laughs> Okay, now, now we are moving to next part, uh, part, 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 part. Uh, There are a lot of TDS uh, solutions there. What is TDS? Uh, TDS means text to speech. Okay, uh, the text to speech is meant like uh, we are talking about font and we are talking about uh, uh, part, font, leaf, inscriptions, those things are right. But in modern, modern technology, uh, the input method is not only a text, it even can be a sound. So, uh, there are a lot of tools that you can speak. And while speaking itself, the content, the sound, transfer to the text. So those, similarly for text to speech, speech to text, which means for someone from uh, like a visual challenge people are there, so they can't usually see the font. So in that case, they can use this TDS system. So if they have installed this system, and they can run it, entire website can be converted into audio format, so they can listen it. So the modern modern technology is more advanced and they are using other media files. So these are the available tools in open source. You can use it. Then next. And the interesting one is uh, speech to text. Uh, and the other is, other is called uh, TTS, which means text to speech. That is mostly used for uh, people who are handling or who are unable to read. But this particular tools are useful for everyone because anyone have a need to use this SS, STD which means speech to text. Suppose you are traveling in a bus and if you want to write an article, you just install these any tools. These, things are, these tools are all supporting Tamil, mainly Tamil and other Indian languages as well. Uh, for example, dictation.io is the one of the tool. If you open the website and you, 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 have, you have an airport and you, you know, just uh, speak it. While you are speaking, it will create a uh, text format. So you will not to sit and type. So you just to go anywhere and you can speak it. Even, even if, I'm, if I'm speaking in this mic, uh, you get recorded and you can give a text to format. So it's like a transcribing. Similarly, uh, Google Drive also does the same thing. In Google Drive, if you open any document, uh, that is in toolbox, in tool uh, uh, menu, you will find a uh, voice input. Voice typing is there. If you click it, it will give you a mic symbol. There you can click and you can speak it. So this is how technology is more advanced. Okay, now, now we have talked about uh, sound from things. Other is OCR. Uh, OCR part, you are, I think you are already aware. If you scan any book, any images, that, that image is in a part, part of uh, not copyable. Okay, it is an image, you can't cut it, you can't edit it. So that is image. So we need to convert that image into text format to edit or translate those things. So this OCR does as does image to text format. If you are scanning a book, it is an, it is an image format. Use this OCR tool and then convert it into text format. There are a lot of tools are there. Even in Google, you can have a cloud or Google.com. Google is offering a, a service of OCR. Even we can use it. Uh, in, in Wikipedia, Wikipedia system for the Wiki source, we, are, we are using Google OCR to translate uh, sorry, OCR uh, almost a thousand, thousands of books uh, using the script from Python. Okay, these are the various OCR tools and mainly thing is like uh, this is a Python based script to interact with the, uh, Google and this is a Google app based script to use the Google app, Google OCR technology. You can note it down and you can use if you need it. Okay, uh, other than that what are the existing tools in Tamil community if you want, if you are interested you can check out this, this type of the 
website. Uh, first one is Tamil Virtual Academy, having the list of tools. There you can find a number of tools from um, spell checker to font converter, even there is a, some uh, dictionaries also available there. And the second list you can find a lot of open web based tools are there. And uh, other one is my spell checker. Uh, so this is my spell checker. There you can uh, put any, any Tamil content and you can do a spell check. And similarly, other spell checks are there. Other one is uh, this is a language based uh, analyzer. Okay, these are the tools and when coming into the language purposes, suppose if, if we are uh, making other research, other, other industry like next step forward, we need a language corpus. In Tamil, we have a rich number of language corpus. So these are the main sources I can refer to you. Uh, first one is uh, IATB website. So there you can find a lot of uh, words with a combination of Indian languages. For example, for a particular word for example, Amma, you can find every word in other in other Indian languages. For uh, Amma, you can find Amma in Telugu or in Kannada, Malayalam. So those uh, like inter-language uh, dictionaries are available there. Other stuff are in the Tamil based dictionaries. Next. Okay. Uh, when you are creating any project, uh, you may think like you need to have a lot of uh, technology support to build an application or things. There are a lot of things are there. Uh, I will just list it out. So these are the available for free of you. Free of you see. First one is github.com, gitlab, sourceforge and archives.org. Suppose if you want to post or if you want to publish your uh, book or any your work, you need not to pay anything. These are the available free sources. So, so here you can use it. Suppose if you are doing some uh, enterprise-wise uh, hosting, then you can use some best thing like Azure, uh, Google Cloud Platform, AWS. So these are also the solution for hosting. Okay, coming to the interface, uh, I will cover Wikidata and Wikidata Commons later. So that is the one of the huge uh, data source that you will need to have. Uh, other than that, we have a lot of Wikimedia projects are there and the OS community org is there. Therefore, you can get a lot of web, web templates. If you are designing a web page, you need not to sit and write an entire thing. You just go to this website and then collect a template. Template means it's like a like a shirt, you can remove, I mean, you can put any type of shirt to your web page. There are templates out there, and these are the uh, softwares for building uh, libraries. Koha is, I think, Koha is one of the famous software using in Dixit. Sorry, libraries. Next. Uh, coming to the e content, these are the various form of e content we, we used to uh, get Tamil purposes. Uh, mostly Tamil Wikipedia, Tamil Wikaspedia, and then Mulaga. One thing is mulaga.org, please note it down. This is the one of the uh, most renewable, uh, most uh, renewable uh, Tamil ebook website. So that you can find a number of uh, PDFs and a lot of uh, stuff are there. Otherwise, free Tamil ebooks is a contemporary library. We can be, be used to publish a lot of uh, Creative Commons books in here. So basically, the Kanye Foundation initiated this activity and we, we are welcoming people to publish your work in Creative Commons in free ebook.com. Next. Okay, now coming to the Wikidata. Uh, have you heard about the Wikidata video? Anyway, any scholars? Alright, okay. Uh, Wikidata is one of the sister project of Wikipedia. I think you people are aware of Wikipedia, but Wikipedia is one of the online encyclopedia. In other term, it's a sister project, Wikidata. Uh, it is same from same foundation. Uh, what, we, what is Wikidata? Wikidata is it's a structured it's a structured data. You can get it as structured data. For example, in Wikipedia, you write data in sentence. For example, uh, he is belonging to Tamil Nadu and he works here. So this is how you write in Wikipedia. You need to write a thing in sentence format. But in Wikidata, you need not to write a sentence format. You need to map everything. For example, suppose he means you need to mention, for example, myself, which is this, which is that in, in, in like a general, you need to mention it's a human. And the other thing is, uh, uh, next uh, type you need to mention he is belonging to uh, this particular field. For example, uh, argument means you can mention it as a manifestation or a remarkable, remarkable uh, work person. Uh, similarly, you need to mention the data with the data value. So you can define it as a data, data lacking figure and the repeatable. So, for example, uh, if you need to collect a data list of painters in Madurai by birth, is it possible by Wikipedia? 
No right. This Wikipedia having an article with the entire stuff. You can't able to collect a list of painters in Madurai by birth. It is not possible. But if you are using Wikidata, if you feed information about every author, every painters with their native, so every painter is marked with their native birth. Then you can make a query and you can filter it out. List of painters from Madurai by birth. So these are the possible things. So this is the one of the example uh, for Aryabhatta. If you go into this, you can find how Aryabhatta is feeded in data wise. So Wikipedia, Wikidata is, can be different like structured data and open access. Open access means you can uh, download this entire data and you can use it for your own research purpose. Other one is language independent. So the one more benefit of Wikidata is it is not language independent. For example, if you are updating in Aryabhatta information, uh, suppose I know something about Aryabhatta, I go on to update it. Aryabhatta is uh, born in Calcutta, uh, some, some place, for example. This example, Aryabhatta born in example, I just mark native places Calcutta. That's it. I did not, did not to mention any languages because Wikidata will map with the Calcutta name. Cal in Calcutta, this map already map with the equivalent language name. So that it will map already map for some For example, Becca will come and open the Wikidata. And if they change the interface into Bengali, the Calcutta will be so shown as a Bengali language. So it is language independent. And it is open access, anyone can edit it. No need any author or any recognition to update it. So this is one of the interesting. Next. Uh, Wiki Commons. Uh, this is the one more interesting thing. Uh, you know, we have a lot of media files are there, like uh, photos, audio, or even PDF, uh, video. But uh, that is there is no platform. There is no platform to host or share it with others. So, Wiki Commons is the one of the platform, it is an open repository for multimedia files. You can upload any end of the files and you can make it to share, share with the human society. And again, it is a structured data, open access, language independent. Next. So, these are the new examples that, that we can work in Tamil computing. For example, in Tamil library, Tamil digital library, you can find a lot of PDF uh, audience. From uh, Academy, they have scanned and uploaded it. And there is some activities. Next. Okay, you can note it down. There are some uh, graphics using mathematical concept. As the time shortage, I am just skipping it. You can see it later. So, this is the third one is a podium. Uh, you can even create a podium using a max formula. You can see it later. Next. Also, and these are the other, other resources for the Tamil community. If you are more interested, if you want to know more things like what are the existing tools, you can just visit these are the sites. That you can find a lot of Tamil community resources. Next. And the list of projects and list of project plans are there. Next. Over. Thank you. So, uh, 
I think it is very remote uh, topic for all of you, basically uh, getting uh, knowledge source in terms of shoppers and uh, fonts. Uh, but there are a lot of us going on in uh, every region's uh, indie computer developers. Uh, so make a contribution by using it. Uh, and the problem which was getting about is that uh, non liberal and liberal, which has to be addressed. That was the size of the regional language. So, language is the difference of language. So, uh, let's find up for the next year and lunch. Thank you. So, is that compared to that?